Welcome to Razmafsa channel. My name is Manuche Mushta Khorasani. As all of you know by now, I'm the founder of Razmafsa organization and the president. Um, today, I'm going to talk about uh, another archery technique, uh, grasping the bow, qabze. Qabze gereftan. As you know, qabze uh, in uh, Persian, uh, you can refer to any type of handle of any weapon. For a bow, it means bow grip. At the same time, when you say qabze gereftan, means grasping the bow grip, which might um, create misunderstandings for some people who are not familiar with Persian manuscripts and manuals and archery, so it means both. Last time I showed you different types of draws. We, knew na we know now that it's not only borut kesh, mustache draw, which is emphasized in, uh, it's as a Persian technique, not only in Persia, but it was also used and mentioned in Turkish manuscript on archery and other Arab Saracen archery mamluks. But um, in often before I started to translate and then uh, writing articles and books on Persian archery together with my best uh, friend and researcher B. Dwyer, who annotated them and we published many articles together. So far, eight uh, Persian manuals and manuscripts complete on how to shoot with bow in Persian tradition. So it's no guesswork. We're going to revolutionize uh, the field and show exactly how these things were done by Iranians, Persians. We know, for example, back to drawing a bow that is not only borut kes, which is good, but some. Persian manuscripts have a preference for Borut Kesh, but they specifically say, for example, in one of the manuscripts I translated, that people from Isfahan use Abru Kesh, means, or Sorme Kesh, which is eyebrow draw. Today we are going to talk about grasping the bow. Grasping the bow, it changes the way the Qabze, or the handle of your bow, is shaped. You see that okay these two also change one of them is changale bas or changal bas which it means hoax grip in persian hoax grip what is hoax grip i'm going to read from one persian manuscripts from safavid period which describes it i read of course the translation so you understand hoax claw grip grass hoax claw grass or grasping the bow or grasping or gripping is the grasp should be between the proximal and middle joints and one should hold with small finger the ring finger and the middle finger tightly clenched and keep the index finger slanted and put the thumb on the middle finger and ring finger Sharif Muhammad is the manuscript written by him describes this one. So if I have my bow here, Amorin bow for example, so I hold it this way, you see that this one is slanted the index and this one is put on these two fingers. So I just adjust a bit. This is the hoax grip. So if I have uh, an arrow here, you see that the arrow comes here and then you can shoot. You see that uh, the duct will be uh, the thumb and here, so the arrow flies over your uh, hand or thumb. Uh, this is the hoax claw grip. Now I'm going to show you with the uh, Changale bars. This is hoax uh, claw grasp with this one. The second one is Qabzei Khandan or Bahrami grasp or Bahrami Qabzei Bahram. Bahram Gur was a Sasanid king, Sasanian king, very famous for his archery deeds 
and performances and of course Persian manuals on archery often refer to him as one of the models of uh, or one of the best archers and archery experts so the next one is that now between the first one which was Changalebaz or Changalebaz and Bahrami Grip or Khandan another meaning of Khandan of course for people who for those of you who are Iranians or as Persian speakers know that Khandan means laughing at the same time Khandan here means open grasp so Bahrami, Qabzai Bahrami or Qabzai Khandan means open grasp so what does it mean? I'm going to read it from Risale Kamandari another Persian manuscripts on archery which describes this when the tip of the index finger reaches the thumb and the middle finger this way of holding a bow is called hoax claw grasp because whenever one holds a hawk he cannot get out one finger this grasp is similar to that and therefore it is called hoax claw grasp if there is a distance between the thumb and the middle finger uh, or index finger in this case this grasp is also called Qabzai Khandan open grasp the best way of grasping is hoax claw grasp the open grasp is called Bahram's grasp so what does it mean? Bahram's grasp will be held like that so I'm here so if you remember Qabzai uh, uh, in the first one which was hoax claw grasp instead of putting my thumb here the thumb comes here and there is an opening here so you see this is the way it is going to be done i show it with another one if i have it here hold it like that so in this first one was like that changole bars this one handan i hold it like this one so there is an opening as you see here so this was the second one Qabzai Khandan or Qabzai Bahram or Bahrami now we move to the third one now I'm going to do Qabzai Khandan or Bahrami Now we are moving to the third one, Qabzai Murabba or square grip or square grasp. What does that mean? In the Jamal al Hidayat fi Elm al Romayat, complete guide concerning the science of archery, Persian archery manual, the, the author, Durud Bashi Behaqi, describes the Qabzai Murabba as follows. He says, if the index finger is placed between the distance of the thumb and the middle finger and as mentioned they are the same length at the same level of other fingers and other fingers are positioned on their place then this way of holding the bow is called square grip now i read another one for you the archery manual by Muhammad Zaman uh, describes this grasping as well. He says, he describes, the other type is Murabba, square grip or grasp, which requires the small finger, the ring finger, the index finger, and the thumb to grasp the bow grip. Most people of this craft from Lahore use this type of grasp, especially when using a heavy arrow so you see here they say use when you use a heavy arrow they recommend this type of grass these grasps, grasps were not for fun which I'm going to describe later on during archery videos when you have armor when you have a shield when you have a heavier um, arrow then possibly your hoax uh, cloak grasp will not work so you need to use another grasp so what this grass means i'm going to show Qabzai Murabba square for you 
So if I have it like this, this is, you see that it is here and I'm going to show it like that. This is this square grid or Gabzi Murabba. I'll show it with another one. This is this square grid. So this one was Gabzi Murabba or square grid. Today I'm going to show you Qabzi Morabba or square grill. The first grip or grasping of uh, the bow grip in Persian archery manuals is Qabzi Mudavar or round, rounded grasp. What is rounded grasp means? Beat our archery experts says that the distinction between Qabzi Murabba and Mudavar, square grip and rounded grip, is difficult because it also depends on the, the design of the bow grip. But uh, I'm going to show it to you. Qabzi Mudavar rounded grid is described, for example, in Jamal Hidayat Fil Ramayat, Complete Guide Concerning the Science of Archery by Torub Bashi Behaqi. He describes this one this time. Additionally, if all four fingers, the index finger, the middle finger, the small finger, and a ring finger are placed under position, the thumb, which is the duct for the arrow, is raised and positions between the index finger and the middle finger, this way of holding a bow is called Qabzai Modavva, rounded grasp. This way of grasping the bow is called grabbing the four fingers. So, I'm going to show it to you. This one, I have it like this. I turn the hand a bit and then I turn the hand a bit and then this is this way, right? So I'm going to show it with the other one. I'm going to turn the hand a bit this way. So this was Qabzi Mudavar or rounded grip. Grasping the book. Okay, now I'm going to show you Qabzi Mudavar or round grip. Now the last grip which is sheer dust or lion's grasp. This one is the fifth one, fifth type of grasping the bow grip as described in Persian manuals on archery. The archery manual by Muhammad Zaman identifies this one and describes sheer dust, lion's grasp as, the, as follows. One is the lion's grasp and all five fingers are used in this grasp. Most people who are not proficient are using this type of grasp. So what does it mean? I have my, like this, I use all of them, put it here, turn it a bit to the outside, and this is the way, as if you're holding a club and shoot with it. In the next video, I'm going to show you which one you can use when you use Separ, Persian Shield, 
and which ones are not suitable for using different sizes of Persian seba and also bazu band. So remember, war archery is different from archery for entertainment or games or things like that. In war archery, it is not important how far you shoot a light arrow. It is important to shoot heavy bow at the distance where you can make sure that you can still penetrate the, the armor of your opponent. Remember, as I said in different types of weapon fighting, in um, swords, in different types, you need to spar. If you do not have a fencing mask, or if as a first step to spar, like uh, our colleagues in HEMA do, that you spar with it, you get hit, no one can defend himself all the time. You hit and you get hit, so you learn how to fight. Similar to Muay Thai, similar to MMA, wrestling, or any type of realistic martial arts, which I'm really a big fan of. Now, later on you can have steel armor and then have full contact fight with uh, blunt weapons. Otherwise, you're just playing a game. Same applies to archery, and we're going to have war archery. It's not interesting for me, or back then, how far you can shoot a light arrow. You see that our colleagues in um, European bows, long bows, show even with a heavy war bow, over 100 poundage, when they want to penetrate a uh, really well-made uh, steel plate, which is forged and hardened and tempered, is almost impossible to do that. So you need to shoot between the gaps. So you can imagine, as a, at a long distance, what these all these fast shootings with the light bow and light arrows means. It means in war archery, nothing. So we need to concentrate. And in Razmafsar, in the fourth level, we are going to have different types of shooting. First, basic ones, as grasps and things which I have shown. And later on, on higher levels, more complicated ones of archery.